Hi friends, I am Arun Giri. You are most welcome to our channel Technical Consult. Our today's topic is how to design boiler feed water tank. In this video, I will be, uh, explain you what is boiler feed water tank, how to design boiler feed water tank, and what is the effects if our boiler feed water tank is over capacity and under capacity. So all these topics I will explain in this video. So keep watching this video up to last. And if you have not subscribed my channel till now, then please subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon. So let's start our topic without wasting time. So first we will see what is the what is boiler feed water tank. So you can see here this is the symmetric diagram of boiler. You can see here this is a boiler. This is a feed pump of boiler, and this is the steam line, and this is the steam load. Okay. After steam load, there is a condenser. That means after condensation, hot water is coming. Hot water is this hot water is stored in a tank. This tank is known as boiler feed tank, and also this tank is known as service tank. This in this tank, uh, there is uh, one side cloth for weighing the level of this uh, tank, and there is a management of makeup water so that this level can be maintained. Additional water uh, is coming in this tank for maintaining the level of this tank, and this tank provides water to the boiler. Okay. So generally, this water is hot because condensed condensed water is coming in this tank. So if we are supplying hot water to the boiler, then what happens? A boiler efficiency increases because for every six degree rise in feed water temperature, fuel consumption reduces by one percent. It's a thumb rule. Okay. So this is the function of this is the boiler feed water tank. Now we'll see what is the function of this feed water tank. The function is to provide sufficient water to boiler and avoid low water level condition to arise in boiler. Okay, if this tank holds the makeup water and condenser water, and it supplies the uh, heated water to boiler, it helpful for increasing the efficiency of boiler. Okay, this is the function of this boiler feed water tank. Now we will see effect of oversized feed water tank. What will the effect on the boiler if our uh, Uh, this feed water tank is oversized than the required size. So, incremental heat addition by returning condenser is diminished. That means we will not get heated water uh, to the boiler. That means if our tank is oversized, there will be some uh, heat loss due to oversizing of the tank, and some uh, radiation loss or due to some radiation losses also, our this feed water temperature will be reduced. Due to reduced uh, temperature of feed water tank, our boiler efficiency will be gets reduced. Okay, so this is the effect of oversizing of feed water tank. Okay, now we will see what how to design how to design the correct size of feed water tank. So as a thumb rule, feed water tank should be one point uh, five times of the peak steam demand. For example, if our peak steam demand is 1,000 kg per hour, then our feed tank capacity should be 1.5 times the uh, peak steam demand. That means, if our peak, uh, peak steam demand is 1,000 kg per hour, then our tank should uh, capacity, feed water tank capacity should be 1.1.5 times the 1,000 liter. That means 1,500 liters. So, by using this thumb rule, we can easily Calculate or design the feed water tank capacity. Okay. If our uh, feed water tank capacity is selected according to this thumb rule, then it this ensure that the sufficient water is available for the boiler at any point in the time while keeping the above losses to a minimum value. Okay. So this is all uh, about the today's video. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, then please press like button, subscribe the channel. And if you have any query, then please comment in the comment box. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.